Simon from simonwoods.com and I have a bottle of, or a half bottle, of uh, Manfania here. Uh, Manfania Passada Enrama, so bottled unfiltered straight from the cask. Uh, and it's Barbadia Pastora. Um, and um, it's, uh, it's a said lightly chilled. I'm just feeling my bottle, maybe, maybe it's been in the, uh, in the fridge. Oh, dearie me. Ah, I've never had that really happen with a... With a a, um, a bottle of sherry before, um, so uh, I'm going to go away, find a corkscrew, and um, uh, I'll be I'll be back with you soon. Okay, well you can see it's not the longest of corks. I, I you know what I'm, I might have to, to not bother putting the cork in, and I might have to uh, uh, to drink all the wine myself or with the help of somebody else. But um, let's see whether that's going to be a problem. I'm going to pour some out and give it a sniff. So first thing I see is um, is the colour, and uh, sometimes when you have when you have Manthania, um, it's this almost pale, watery white character, uh, watery white colour. And uh, but here um, there's two things. First of all, it's got that classic briny aroma. Secondly, like a lot of Enrama sherries, it's got seems to have got a little bit more weight, depth of fruit to it. And um, so if you're looking for something uh, almost crisp and um, delicate. Maybe this is just almost a, not not too rich, but it's a certain. If you are expecting uh, one of those um, crystal clear manthias, this has got a little bit more substance and body to it, and um, as a result, probably a little bit more versatile with food. I mean, I've I've had I've had some uh, uh, sherries, may, maybe not uh, manthania, but uh, with steak and uh, with palo, palo cortado with with steak is uh, uh, is rather nice. Anyway, I'm going to give this a whirl and and try it. And it's got that lovely yeasty pungency, which, which I love. Uh, my wife doesn't love. That probably means I might have to have a little bit more than she does. Um, but then this depth of fruit. There's almost a, a toffee-like note there. It's a bone-dry wine, but it's a rich wine. It's not. Um, yeah, it's definitely one for uh, quite meaty dishes rather than rather than saving with your your shellfish. Maybe if you're into getting into monkfish and uh, and stuff like that, you could you could bring it out with the shellfish. But this is more of a um, yeah. I'd, I'd be happy to sit this and uh, sit this with rather a lot of uh, hamel. I'd actually be very happy to sit most things with uh, rather a lot of hamel. But um, it's tasty. Uh, yes, I probably have over chilled it. Um, and uh, so I'm going to let it warm up to room temperature um, uh, before I pour myself a glass. It is a Friday afternoon here and uh, maybe I've had a hard week and I deserve it. Actually, I haven't had a too hard a week, but um, I think I still deserve it. Peace out.